So how do you maximize the value out of your Shilona? Now it's actually pretty easy on how to do that. First things first, you want to go at 90 out of 90. I still haven't yet. That's because I'm I'm actually running out of more. <laughs> okay, don't make fun of me. But yeah, um, I'm running out of more. So once I do, I'm going to get to 90 out of 90. So I can get the most out of the defense amount that I get. But it won't matter too, too much because that's not where her value really lies. For the weapons, you can go with anything. Right now, I have this weapon because I lost a 50-50, so I'm, I'm going to put this as a punishment for myself. You want a defense-related weapon, and the one I'm currently leveling up is this one. So, uh, once I get this to max, I'm going to be using this one. The artifact set. You want to be using this artifact, which is the Scroll of the Hero of the Cinder City. This is an amazing artifact set and will allow you to give your party members elemental damage bonus. This is really awesome because it can also be triggered off field. Now, any sort of reaction related to the elemental attack also get another elemental damage bonus, which is really cool. So Night Soul Blessing plus the reaction, you get 40%, which is massive. Considering that in her talent, you get a free elemental resistance decrease. Obviously, the more you level it up, the more the elemental resistance decrease with a maximum of 36% on level 10, but you can also go and get the constellations so you can get it even further. But for now, it's going to be 10 and 36% for the maximum. For now, I have it at 30% at level 8, which is still a really incredible amount. Now, for you guys that are wondering, so what's the difference if you have someone like Kaza? How much does he do? How much does she do? Now, for Kaza, it's actually pretty interesting because he has an artifact set that does the 40%, yeah, 40% resistance shred, which is really cool. And then you have the 40% elemental damage bonus from the Cinder City artifact set with Shilonen. Now, I don't exactly know the exact numbers, but either way, you're going to be benefiting. And with Kazuha, you get the cool elemental damage bonus for elemental mastery. You can actually increase the potential of elemental damage bonus that you give, which is really cool. Now, you don't really have that with Shilonen since it's just straight up this amount but it's also a pretty good thing because that makes her really accessible really easy to build and you don't have to focus on a specific stat that you need so you don't need that much mastery you don't need attack defense whatever it may be you can just stick with just leveling this up and you will be good not to mention her night soul blessing is super awesome and allows you to traverse everywhere really easily. And that's how you can get the most out of your Shilona. Generally, you want to have a good amount of energy recharge, especially if she's the only character that is a Geo character within your team. For example, I use this Molani team and she's going to need a lot of energy recharge. So I'm going to try my best to get as much energy recharge artifacts as possible. I'm going to level up all these artifact sets as much as possible so I can get the energy recharge that I need. So far, I don't have enough just yet and it's at 122 i'm looking for somewhere around 140 to 160 and that would be a pretty good place but you don't really need her burst for her to work at all and that is the nice thing but if you want an extra healing or you want her to be your healer that is where you want her to be at bursting every other rotation isn't actually that bad and you can get a lot out of her that way. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really easy to get Shilonen up there. She's one of the easiest characters to build and one of the most fun to traverse around as she's super agile and can climb things, goes pretty quick, and just generally is an easy, easy character to have on your team. And you can get a lot of value from. But yeah, I definitely recommend you guys to go for Shilonen if you haven't already especially since she's in the banners right now. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys summoning for Shilonen? Are you guys skipping? Let me know in the comments. See you guys in the next one.